Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove uh, this statement involving sets. So let's go ahead and go through it. So proof. So this is an if and only if statement. So we have to prove, you know, if this is true, then this is true. And then if this is true, then this is true. We have to prove uh, both directions. I'm going to indicate the direction we're proving um, by using an arrow. So let's start by proving this direction here. Okay, I'm going to put a little arrow here. So to prove this direction, we have to assume that this is true, and then we have to show um, that this is true. So again, we have to assume this, I'm going to call this Q, and we have to show this. We have to show um, that Q implies P. To do this, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to use what's called proof by contrapositive. So I'm going to assume that this is not true, and then show Q is not true. So suppose that this statement is not true. So that means that A cross B is non-empty. And now we have to show that Q is not true. Well, what does it mean for it to be non-empty? This means there exists an element, which is an ordered pair, because this is the Cartesian product, X, Y, and A cross B. So what does this mean? This means that X is an A and Y is in B. So this means that A is not empty and it means that B is not empty. And that's the, the negation of Q, right? So, so we started by assuming not P and then we showed not Q. So that shows that Q implies P, so that shows this direction here. Okay, so that takes care of the first case. Again, we were trying to show that Q implies P, so we use what's called proof by contrapositive. You assume P is not true, and you show Q is not true. And again, the negation of the statement, you know, A equals empty or B equals empty, is A not empty and B not empty. Okay, it's a De Morgan's rule uh, from, from logic. Okay. Let's prove the other direction. So now we're going to prove this direction here. So we have to show that if P is true, then, then Q is true. Okay, so if P is true, then Q is true. And again, we're going to use proof by contrapositive. We'll assume that Q is not true and show P is not true. So suppose that Q is not true. What does that mean? That means that A is not empty and B is not empty. So this is not Q. Okay, I want to emphasize that. The logic is the hardest part of this problem, like understanding what's going on. So we're, we're, we're assuming Q is not true. So what does this mean? This means that there's an element. This means uh, there's an A and A, and B and B. I should probably say this means there exists, right? Because if they're not empty, that means we can find something in each of these sets. So A is not empty means we can find some A and A. B is not empty means we can find some B and B. So thus, the ordered pair A comma B is an A cross B. So that means A cross B has an element, so it's not equal to the empty set. And that's the negation of P, right? Remember, P is equal to empty. So we showed here. Um, that not Q implies not P. So this here was not Q, and this here is not P. Let's just go through the logic one more time. So to prove this statement, we have to prove two things. We have to prove this direction and this direction. It's an if and only if. To prove this direction, we basically have to show that Q uh, implies P. Right? It's, it's going this way, right? Q implies P. So to do that, we assume not P which was uh, this, the opposite of this, and negation of this, and we showed not Q. So we showed that not P implies not Q, which is equivalent to showing that Q implies P. So boom. What about here? Here we had to show this direction. We had to show that P implies Q. So we assume not Q, and we showed it implies not P. Well, that's equivalent to showing P implies Q, which is what we had to show. So here we showed Q implies P, here we showed P implies Q, therefore we have that P if and only if Q, and you know the proof is done. So we've proven you know the if and only if statement. 
Uh, I hope this video uh, has been helpful. This is not a hard problem, but it's a really good exercise in like contrapositive and, and if and only if. The hardest part is understanding you know, all, all of these uh, P's and Q's and, and implications and stuff. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, good luck.